there's another category of safety that um, is a working exploration for me. You won't see this written anywhere. Um, and it don't, don't hold me to it and say like, this is fact, but um, I'm terming this spiritual safety. And so if, if ego safety is about, is it okay to be me? Spiritual safety is about, is it okay to let go of me? Uh, and this is one of the last dimensions of presence that we start to, to tap into where um, we've, we begin to let go of the sense of self. And with a lot of people, when you're, when you're working with new meditators uh, and people interested in mindfulness for stress reduction, even though I, I think most meditation teachers might not admit this, you are doing a lot of self-construction. You're building a relationship with yourself. You're building a sense of confidence to be in your, your own skin. You're developing a, a friendship with yourself, um, building a sense of self-esteem, emotional regulation for the purpose of feeling more equipped to go out into the world. And I'm a big proponent of that. I do that and I think it's important. There's another, layer to the practice where we where we start exploring the transient nature of the self and the illusion of the self and you'll get this more on silent meditation retreats and also more in like buddhist traditions like contemplative traditions um, but it's a big part of of the practice and so this is we we develop this sense of self of like oh cool i finally feel good in in who i am which is important because resisting who you are is still a form of attachment to uh, the self uh, once we've developed that friendship with our with ourselves then it becomes more okay to start to let go of it um, and that's that's where we move into a sense of interconnection a sense of oneness uh, with other people with the world around us